Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back. It is Vorty here. It is early in the morning. Uh, yeah, but there's so much stuff coming out. There's no way you can skip it out for it. Mm -mm, not gonna happen. Not this time, Chief. Mm -mm. You tried yourself. No, you tried hard. It's gonna happen. So what what is going on? Let me show you what's going on first. First of all, this is my new TM farming group. Um, if you've been following along, then you know that I got the Emperor. And he's only got 1.7. But his TM is good, so make sure you farm that out. Um, that guy's there. That dude is there. She is there. And the person that um, the Emperor has replaced is going to be Gafgarian. So I do have Bracers now as well, which is good. So that's that. And that's the video. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm just kidding. Look at all of these numbers. Let's take a look what's going on. Alright, we're going to go from the bottom here. Maintenance, uh, maintenance, uh, Wednesday, the 10th, tomorrow, maintenance, till Thursday, and then what's happening after that, hmm, chambers of crystals, lots of crystals are going to be coming out of chambers here, it could be pretty good, so that's not that bad, and then, uh, awakened warriors, new ability awakened characters, just a few, as you can see here, just a few, Dark Fina will get her, uh, Awakening. So I'll take a look at these a little bit later more in detail, but right now we're just looking at the characters. So Dark Fina, Chizuru is getting Awakening, which is freaking amazing. Uh, Bards gets his Awakening. So we're in a good situation there for getting those guys Awakening. Uh, and so those are the three main ones, and then it looks like these other guys in the back here will also get some abilities, but they're not featured. So uh, we'll see uh, what all their things are, and we'll take a look at it in depth in another video about what they're getting and are they going to be worth uh, the stones. Remember, these are very rare and hard to get come by, so we're going to see if it's really, really worth it. So here we go. Vision of Bahamut Raid Event. So, I don't know about you guys, but I love raid events. Uh, they're one of my favorite things here in uh, Final Fantasy Brebexpius. We're going to get the Bahamut one. It's going to be hella fun. Um, so let's take a look here. Sorry about that noise there. Uh, my headset's wonky. So essentially what's going to happen is there's a boss that appears in the middle of like our screen kind of thing. You click on it, you'll be fighting it. The more damage you do to it, the more, uh, you know, he dies and then he levels up. The more, the stronger his level, the more points we get for beating him in all levels. Obviously, defeating him in Elite is going to be the easiest way. Uh, and then when you defeat him, based on how much damage you do, uh, you will gain event points and then you'll get Bahamut, point, uh, Bahamut Raid Coins, which you can then use to um, essentially use to summon passively on the side for raid specific gear, units, etc. So right now they're showing us here that you know, through, through uh, beating him we're going to be getting uh, a spear, armor, a, a staff and looks like a gun. You know, we're going to be getting by uh, just kind of getting the points. As you get the points you're going to be unlocking those recipes. Uh, some other materials, some trust moogles, summoning tickets, and everything. And then, by using the summons, the raid, uh, Bahamut raid coins, you'll be able to get the materials to be able to craft all these things. Uh, these ranks are really stupid, so not really anything to be worried about. The person who's going to be getting, like, the top three people, they're going to spend way more money than any of these things are worth. So the rankings are really stupid. Uh, most normal people are going to be ranking here between 5,000 and 30,000. Those that are not going to be playing a lot are going to be ranking in the 30,000 plus, right? So, you you know, just kind of, you know, set yourself the goal, like, down here. Because, I mean, like, I play uh, every time the orb is up. Uh, I don't really waste uh, resummoning tickets or, you know, like, re refindling it because there's no point. You can get everything still within the raid period. And I normally get within the 30,000. Uh, yeah, I, think, I don't think I've ever been anything lower than 30. Maybe I have. Maybe down here. The last raid that was around here somewhere, but yeah, I was just resummoning like that. So let's take a look at the rewards real quick. We're going to be getting the Dark Claw Rod. It's a recipe to be able to make uh, the rod. It gives you attack 10 and the magic 35. It's not the greatest rod out there in the world, but hey, it's a free rod. Uh, this is your chance to get it. They look super badass, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, then you get the Dark's Guard Robe Recipe. So the Robe Recipe gives you defense 35, magic and spirit 20, uh, with auto regen, which is actually... Not that bad. Uh, then you get a Bahamut Fang, which is a recipe for a spear that has 76 attack, but has Dragon Killer on it, which is really, really nice. I like that. Uh, anytime anything has a Dragon Killer on it, 
or any any kind of killer effect. I absolutely love it. And then, ah, oh, jeez, sorry. Then we got the gun here, which is Dragon's Roar. Uh, recipe for it is Attack 78. Then we get a Dragon Killer as well, enables uh, uh, Waking Instinct. And they actually put it here so we don't have to play the guessing game. Waking Instinct boosts attack, defense, magic, and spirit when hit point drops below a certain percent. So, that's not that bad either. It's a good damaging non-elemental weapon, which is really nice. So, you know... We're getting some of those better guns coming in here into the game so that other characters that can use guns are going to be benefiting from them. Uh, some material here we can get. You can get Magician, boost magic by 10%, and Spirit by 5. Uh, fighter, boost attack by 10%, defense by 5. Uh, seething Cauldron, boost MP and uh, magic by 10%. That's not bad. It's a pretty good one. And then here we got uh, Swelling Power, boost a hit point and attack by 10%. So these two are actually not that bad. Uh, because you can craft a 10% of each, getting the two of them in one material slot is really beneficial for most players. Actually, all players, if you don't have something like this. If you're going to waste the material slot, try and get as much as you can out of that slot. So, these are pretty good. These last two are pretty good. These other ones here are like, eh, whatever. I mean, like, it's going to be better than your default 10% magic, which because you get a 5% spirit as well. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how hard these... I think you get these by points, so... You'll be able to get one of each, essentially. So you won't really have a choice on how many you can get. Unless it's from summoning, which would be really weird. Because I don't remember ever having that. Alright. And then there's going to be a banner that's be coming with... Um, with Obviously, with the Bahamut event, there's going to be a new banner. There's going to be two new characters that could be introduced. One is called Roberta, and one is called Zerus. They look absolutely badass. Alright. So, we're just going to look at them real quick, and like I said, in the future, being like later today, tomorrow, you're, I'm going to be looking at them in depth. So, we got uh, uh, Roberta, she's a Dragoon, um, she's got a really nice TM here, attack 128, physical damage against dragons, plus 50%, she's got a Dragon Killer on it. She's just like a Dragoon, and it's just about fighting dragons. Uh, the next one here is Zerus. Zerus, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, probably somewhere it says it's a guy or a girl. It looks like a guy. Looks like a guy, stands like a guy, probably a girl. Uh, the TM that he's got here is called. Uh, ooh, what happened here? Pikachu! I was gonna sneeze, but then I stopped myself. <laughs> then I turned up the volume by accident and I couldn't hear myself sneeze, it was bad. Anyways, so, uh, Zerus is a black mage. The TM here is magic, uh, so we're on a staff. Magic 101, attack 100, uh, 30, magic damage against dragons plus 75%. So this is a dragon killer effect on a staff. It's 75%. This is this is an amazing TM. Uh, uh, Zerus is a 4 star. It's a new global exclusive, just like uh, her. Global exclusive, I should have said that right off the bat. But uh, anytime you have global exclusive units... I'm going to have to take a look into it to find out whether these units are going to be just for this event. If they're just for this event, you might want to go a little bit harder on these guys. Uh, especially trying to get a few of these guys. I'm going to try and get... Because uh, I have a few 4-star tickets, I believe, I think. I have some tickets. Anyways, but I'm going to be wasting them to try and get uh, this guy. Because this is this staff is just insane. If I got this, I would be pretty happy with that too. <clears throat> so anyway, so those are the two. And we'll look at them later on about what their abilities do... Um, when we do the unit review and unit overview, so we got Fury in here, which we already know about, and then we got our boy Kane. Kane is badass. His TM is actually really cool too. Unless you have, um, unless you have Roberta, Roberta. So yeah, so the events uh, that are coming out on um, Thursday here are going to be really, really good. So Wednesday night, Thursday morning, we're going to have some pretty cool events. The Vision of Bahamut is going to be really, really fun. I can't wait to fight um, the raid event. Uh, so stick around for future content on that. I'll definitely be doing a little like uh, fighting thing about it Because um, he is a dragon. There's different ways that you can ways you can cheese him I believe that Furion is gonna be really useful in this event um, If you have dragon killer or poach or any of those things from previous event those are gonna be very helpful for you guys You should definitely make sure that you um, Kind of look up look it up a little bit, but either way come back to the channel uh, probably later tonight um and then I'll have something. Because right now, what is it today? I don't even know what date is. What day is it? Who are you? I don't even know what date is. <laughs> is it Wednesday? 
No, today's Tuesday. If you come back tomorrow, I will have a video on all the units. I will have a video kind of overviewing the events and what we're expecting to be in the events and if we get some items. But like again, uh, those that information is going to be kind of lingering around the the Japanese version of what they happened and obviously that's going to change once we get the data mine uh, Wednesday night uh, going into Thursday morning so when you come back on Thursday you will have more accurate information and I will definitely follow up with that so that you guys have all the up-to-date information all right but uh, if you haven't well you probably don't even know yet but there's gonna be a video coming out uh, probably tomorrow morning um, and because of the events that are being announced, probably going to be a little bit in the like, afternoon around 2 p.m. Eastern. But there's a video that's going to be coming out of me fighting the Elite version of uh, Shadow of the Empire event. Uh, this is pretty much the party I'm looking at bringing, just so you guys can see. Uh, There's a little bit of a sneak preview, but that's kind of what I'm going to be going with, so you guys can uh, see that. If you haven't beaten it already, most of you have already beaten it. Uh, it wasn't a very challenging event for a lot of people, so I didn't bother just putting it out right away. Because honestly, I don't think anybody's struggling on this event. And the rewards themselves are not super, super duper great that you guys really need a uh, guide or anything. But overall, in the meantime, you, I can say is just have fire resistance and make sure that your characters can't be confused. Uh, make sure you have either ice or water element on you and you'll be just fine. All right. Thank you guys so much for dropping by. I will definitely see you guys in the next videos. Uh, make sure you drop by for the unit review. Which is us just kind of going over the units, what we see, and then a unit overview on Thursday when we go into all the abilities. Those are the longer videos, and same thing for the event uh, review and the re event overview. Event again, so overview and review. What that means here on Vordy's channel is the event. Uh, what do you call it? Review is like just looking at the event to see what they are presenting to us, and overview is when we're actually going into the event, talking uh, about piece by piece. And the overviews are normally longer videos. If you like the big, heavy uh, information related kind of stuff, then look at the overview. Uh, if you just want to know the quick uh, what's going on, then make sure you look at the other one. Okay, thank you guys for sticking around. This is Vordy. I will see you guys in the next video. Smash that like button and that subscribe button. And I'm out of here. Peace.